I'd like to introduce now Hong Yu Fan. He is the 2015 MRS Spring Meeting Fred Kovli Distinguished Lectureship in Nanoscience. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. Uh, let's begin with your talk, and it's titled Nanomaterials Under Stress, A New Opportunity for Nanomaterial Synthesis and Engineering. Give us a preview. Well, um, in this talk, I'm, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the uh, new approach we developed at Sandia National Lab. And uh, in this talk, so instead of uh, uh, chemistry, we're using uh, mechanical forces to compress uh, nanomaterials to form new structured materials or architectures. And uh, like I said, instead of chemistry, so we apply the external forces to materials, so you basically squeeze the material. So over a certain pressure, the material phase transition occurred so that they form new materials. So for uh, a variety of materials like uh, metal, semiconductor, or magnetic materials, so we find a threshold pressure. So when the external pressure applied over to the threshold pressure, the material will center and consolidate into new structural materials that impossible for current uh, top-down and bottom-up approaches. So what are some of the benefits uh, of using pressure to synthesize uh, materials, nanomaterials, over the chemical process? We're not using chemistry. Right, so like I said, we don't use chemistry, and uh, for traditional uh, chemistry approach, or chemical approach, so you rely on the rapid kinetics or reactions, so that you're limited to certain structures. And, uh, but using the mechanical approach, we can physically compress, force the material to contact and uh, get together to center or consolidate into new structures. So there is not such a limitation. For example, for, chemi for chemical approaches, you rely uh, on certain uh, crystal planes to center, but here we can force them to center through all directions, forming some uh, new materials or structures that uh, are not possible for conventional chemical approach. And if we talk about the practical uh, applications, talk about some of the potential market for this technology. Well, uh, like I mentioned, we use the uh, mechanical compressive forces. So at the end, the final material are really chemical and mechanical stable. And uh, in addition, they have very high density. For example, uh, I'm going to talk about the formation of nanowire structures or nanowire arrays has very high density and those material has very um, good uh, applications for uh, let's say cell phone uh, antennas or uh, sensors and uh, uh, solar cells applications. And when might we see these on the market? Anytime soon? So our technology filed as patents and now ready for licensing. So if uh, any industry uh, company uh, uh, like to uh, license, and we can work together to develop this uh, uh, process. And you have a dual affiliation with both Sandia as well as the University of New Mexico. So talk about how that affiliation works. Well, uh, this is a very good question. Yeah. And I enjoyed the, the dual uh, uh, affiliation with uh, Sandia National Lab and University of New Mexico. And as you probably know, uh, Sandia National Lab has great uh, research resource and facilities, and we're doing uh, fundamental research for um, national security. And uh, University of New Mexico have very competitive and great students. So I take advantage of both so mentor students to do fundamental research to provide exceptional, uh, exceptional service for uh, national security. Very nice, all right. Well, I want to thank you for being here, Hong Yu Fan, and uh, enjoy your week ahead, and we look forward to your lecture. Thank you very much. Thank you. And just a reminder, Hong Yu Fan's lecture was recorded and will be online at mrs.org on demand several weeks following the meeting.